Hey, welcome to round two of your tutorials on how to use your packet uh, with the GCFLearnFree.org website. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to give you another example here. Uh, we're looking at day one, our assignments, and we talked already about um, this online tutorial. Let's move on to our next online tutorial, which is Computer Basics tutor, uh, Tutorial 1 through 7. So I'm going to go to that part of the packet here, and we see at the top it says Tutorial, and it says Computer Basics. Uh, it says what section will be found in, and then it gives us the name of the specific tutorials we're going to be reading. And they're always underlined in, in italics. We've got what is a computer and understanding operating systems. If we keep moving down the page, we'll see the next one would be understanding op applications, followed by understanding the cloud. All right, so let's find that on the GCF Learn Free .org website. Here is GCF Learn Free. We'll go to the All Topics page. We'll start there. Now we're going to be looking for computer basics. Now that's under computers right here. We click there. Now what are we looking for? We're looking for what is a computer. There it is right there. What is a computer? We click on it and then we can work through our tutorial there. Now, I want to point out a couple special features here on this. You've got videos uh, embedded in a lot of these tutorials. Watch them. They're great. They're going to save you a lot of time. Uh, they go over a bunch of the reading. So if you're not a big fan of reading and rather watch the video, go for it. All the information is there. Uh, something else I want to point out is you're going to run into uh, some interactive components. Uh, for instance, on this basic parts of a computer. We go here, you'll see that on the third page, I believe it is, I'll wait for my slow internet connection to catch up. There we go. Where it says keyboard, you've got uh, all these little round yellow buttons. Now you always have directions. It says click the button on the interactive below to learn about the different parts of the keyboard. So you click here, it tells you what those buttons mean. And then you click the little X again to close it. Now in your packet, what this looks like is this. And you'll be asked to put uh, a number to correspond with the part of the keyboard that this number is describing. So for instance, let's look at number five. This key deletes text to the left of it by moving the cursor backwards. Okay, well I know that that's the backspace key. So I would put a five right here over the backspace uh, dot there. Now I find that out if I don't know that by looking here on the keyboard and reading these. Huh, numeric keypad, no, that doesn't look like it. Ah, backspace, okay, there it is, there's my answer. So that's how to interact with those, those interactives. There are other interactives, um, most of the time they'll have uh, orange uh, buttons there on them to navigate through them. Um, and they're fairly self-explanatory, but I'm going to hit one more of them just so we can be sure. All right, I'm going to go back to all topics. I'm going to go down here to Word, and we're going to go at getting to know Word. All right, now you see here the tutorial begins as usual. Oh, look, we've got another one of those clicking interactive sections. Okay, so I'm going to click through that. And then also, oh, look here, this is what I was talking about with those orange buttons here. It says click the arrows on the slideshow to learn more about the different commands. Now it's important to click through this whole thing because what it's doing is it's explaining what each one of these tabs do. And if you don't know what those tabs do, you're going to be totally lost in Microsoft Word because you get Microsoft Word to do what you want it to do by knowing where to find the information on the proper tab and then clicking on it. And then Word can do basically anything you want it to. So pay attention and take notes when you hit this section because you, there's always a place in your packet to take notes as you see here when you get to that section there's always going to be a notes section regardless of where you're at so take notes on it and uh, make sure you know what's up all right that's your second tutorial on how to use the gcflearnfree.org website in relation with your packet thanks for watching and good luck with the class